we want to learn actually and here i talked about solving governing equations using pens means it's a new way to solve equations using uh, basically neural networks it doesn't use a uh, finite <coughs> finite uh, difference or finite element it is actually a new way to do it and in this case we have uh, basically the <coughs> the pins we are going to apply it in ODE however we can do apply pins also for PDEs which is partial differential equation and the way we do it is by having a network the network will have an input in ODE, we have a time and output was uh, basically the location of the mass, but it can be other things like, for example, X and T, X, Y and T, or X, Y and Z even for 3D problems and T. And the output should can be also anything like in ODE, we or our ODE, we took it as the mass location. However, it can be pressure, temperature, uh, velocity, whatever it is we can also put it now of course a network can be used to predict these values however any network requires to uh, to to be trained to, uh, to to consider the losses the losses is the way we can train a neural network if we have a loss functions we can use these loss functions to compute basically the loss how far this neural network from the actual computation and based on that we update the weights and biases of this network and this is how we train the neural network in pens we have two kind of losses the first one is boundary and uh, well uh, boundary condition and initial condition loss the second is physics loss or you can call it function loss basically the loss that has to make the neural network comply with the physics of the problem in our case the physics loss is basically this ODE governing equation and the initial condition and boundary condition is simply we don't have a boundary condition in this ODE however we have we do have initial condition and this is u at time equals zero is one and the speed at time equals zero is zero so the network has to comply with this if we if we put the time is zero I I expect the U to be one. What if it didn't give us one? Then we have to consider it as loss and we need to change the weights and biases of the network to give us this uh, number. The same thing goes here. The network has to comply with this rule. The other thing during the, not the initial condition or the boundary condition all over, like basically at time equals half, at time equals 75 seconds and so on. This is what we call domain points and it has to comply that with this equation so the if the u d over dt all of these values has to be equal zero the problem if it didn't give us zero means we have a loss that is not zero and the optimizer has to change the weights and biases of this network to comply with this with this basically uh, rule note that if we're training the network for only one case the network will be able to solve our problem for only one case if we train the network for like a general cases then the network can solve a general cases this is how the neural network can solve problems in a very fast way and become excellent in this um well they're basically solving these equations or the governing equations because it got trained a lot and it can it can do that very fast because we are just simply uh, uh, passing through this feed forward neural network or depends on what type of neural network to get the final value so if you want to imagine it it will be boundary condition and initial conditions going to be these for example boundary conditions and let's say the initial condition let's say uh, this is uh, x and t or this is x um uh, this is y and this is let's say t let's say and so the first row is going to be our initial condition and all of these points on this side and this side is going to be our boundary condition so these are the points that has to comply basically into a specific number like x for example here and here will equals zero 
that's that's a boundary condition at or, or when when um, uh, uh, basically this is uh, at this point or at this point it has to be zero or like the initial condition uh, for example when t equals zero u should be this much this is initial condition uh, boundary condition i would say like um, like if you have for example a string and you pull the string and it will keep vibrating uh, the, the the tips of the strings has to be let's say at time equals whatever it like any time any point in time the 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 u of these strings the displacement of these string should be zero this is boundary condition of course uh, however the the in between that means when time is not zero and when x is not zero or like the tips of this string for example we are having boundary points and these boundary points has to comply with uh, sorry we have a domain points and these domain points has to comply with the governing equations so in all these uh, pins problems mainly we define the pins network which is what is the inputs or how many inputs are there how many outputs are there and then define the initial condition boundary condition to actually make write the loss to 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 um so once we define these we because we need to comply with these during the loss steps after that initial condition and boundary condition is, is defined the optimizer is chosen in adam or other optimizers can be used and after that we need to write a loss function the loss function is basically uh, one is based on initial condition and boundary condition and the other loss is uh, based on the domain points and both has to be summed into a total loss that will be used by the optimizer to train the network we keep running the training loop until we have a convergence which is basically the weights and biases are not changing anymore and then this is the results will getting plot if you want a more general network you simply keep changing the initial condition boundary condition and make this network general for any initial condition or boundary condition of course that might require a more complex network and maybe other types of pins that um that i don't want to basically uh, explain in this lecture which is for example a deep uh, neural operator or physics informed deep neural operator which is a way we can more effectively generalize these neural networks however it's not our topic what we our topic is any pins network should be able to be generalized however if we use the correct type of pins network so with that we understand hopefully that how to solve a problem using pins how we actually you uh, we, we write the loss functions and actually the data we actually use is is simply from our we make it we make the data because it's points that uh, or of course has to comply with this equation so that's it and this is how pens works and this is how we can solve these equations using pens so thank you very